Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty, man. Now, I've been waiting on this one. Yeah. Jacquees mm-hmm. in the neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, man. I'm happy to be here. Man, pleasure to have you in the neighborhood. I love how he was like, yeah, uh, Big, I'm not coming to, to the neighborhood unless you have like some frozen yogurt. <laughs> Straight up. So we had to some go ahead and get him frozon yogurt there. and yeah. water. No, that's I, in that's in his rider. No, I love ice cream. You really <laughs> though, man. But first off, welcome to the neighborhood. You've been, you been working. Yeah, man. And, and you know, it's a trip, man. It's crazy how sometimes... The things that we say, people want to grab a hold of that as opposed to the journey and the music first. Exactly. Mm. What I want to do with you, Jacquees, as well, man, is just the road of putting in the work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is no overnight success unless I always say unless it was a long ass night. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? First off, how did you get involved with music? We, we You got a voice first. Yeah. Well, you know, I started singing when I was nine years old. Go ahead now. I got off into it. Uh, my auntie read. Sandy Brooks, that's her name. We call her Auntie mm-hmm. Red. She used to play uh like the Temptations, the Fire Heart. Oh, so you cut from that cloth. So you know I'm cut from that cloth for real. So I used to just look in the mirror all day and just try to sing. She was like, Cool, stop singing. All my cousins mm-hmm. wake up, like, stop singing, bro. Like, go to sleep. You feel me? And I was just used to do it. And then uh I moved to Decatur. Mm-hmm. Cause we stayed in uh we stayed in like East Atlanta, then we moved to Stone Mountain. You know, we was moving all over the east side. So we moved to Decatur and my mama enrolled me in a school called uh Camby Lane Elementary School. Oh, see, this is early, early. Yeah, so it was the first year they was doing uh, they was doing a talent show, and they was calling it Camby Lane Idol. Cause this, right, right, yeah. yeah this American back, Idol was yeah, running. Yeah, Easy American call. Idol was going big. So I was like, man, I'm going to audition. You feel me? This is the first time. So I remember I went and did. Uh, but that's got to be like a whole different world, too, because yeah. no matter what the stage is, the stage is always big. Definitely. And especially when you're trying to perform in front of your peers. Exactly. Did you know you already had the bug, like, I could do this? I know I could do it because I, I was already doing it at the crib. And my sister yeah. then was already telling me, like, cool, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I don't get in the talent show. I remember me and my little sister went to the same school. My, my big sister was older than us. And uh, I sung I Want You Back. By the Jacksons? The Jackson 5, yeah. Go ahead. And I, had the, uh, I went and got the fake afro because I was trying to grow my dreads at the time, so I didn't want to take my dreads out. I went and got the fake afro. I had the bell-bottom pants with the little heel on the boot. Nice. Hey, man, is, is there any the video of this? Yeah, yeah, I got to find it. I got okay. a picture of it, too. Oh, my God. I got a picture. And that's when I won my first talent show. And after that, I ain't do it in fifth, but I won sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And then after that, it was over. You know, Was I it a calling then, though? You know how sometimes, like, even with me, Jacquees, I knew I wanted to do something yeah. in entertainment, you yeah. know, and I tried everything. Yeah. Did you know, like, like man, this is what I want to do? Yeah, I, I knew in high school because, you know, I played football. Mm-hmm. So all the way up until I played football from 7th grade to 10th grade. So after, after, I, after I became a sophomore, my coach left the school, and he was my coach from middle school to high yeah, school. It's so like, he was a connection. He was my connection with football. And one of our closest, well, one of our biggest players had died that, that uh, year. And it was like, man, I was coming to the point where it was like, I got to choose music or football. Like, my managers was coming to the school trying to talk to my coaches to take me out of the team. I used to, I used to kick my like managers out. you back. I used to kick my managers out of practice. Like, bro, get out of practice, bro. Like, I'm trying to play football. I had the Florida Gators running back coach already at the school. You were running back? Yeah. Go ahead now. There's some footage on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. I was going to say running back. Yeah, sure. but it's just like, you know, I just came to that point where it's like, man, I got to do this music. And I just took it. You know, we started putting my mixtapes in the street. You know, I got with Bad Boy South when I was, uh. When I was 15. When you get Damn. with Bad Boy South mm-hmm. at yeah. 15, yeah. do you feel like, oh, man, I'm about to go? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because you know, it still takes some time. You know. But you sure. got to think, like, this is it. I, I just thought it was it. You know, I, I met Greg Street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to the radio yeah, station. Yeah, man. Like, I'm in here with me? Greg. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's legendary. I was in the ninth grade at the radio station just like this. Yeah, so so you, super, you in your head, in the community, just period, you a superstar. Yeah, I was a neighborhood superstar. Yeah, man. Um, so, so when you do go with that and you say, "Okay, well, I'm about, I'm about to run," you know, yeah. this is bad boy. But it still take time, and there's still other things like, "Damn, like this isn't happening like I thought it was." Yeah, it was bad boy self block entertainment. You feel me? That's what it was. And, yeah. and and so, what do you do from there? From there, I was uh, I was down there from when I was like 15 to 16. It was just quick, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I remember my brother Jody Breeze. I met him down there. He was telling me like, "Bro, don't." You shouldn't do this. It's going to be something bigger for you. you know, me and Brush started my fan base real but big. But at that time, how do you think there's going to be something bigger? Like, how do you mm-hmm. trust in that? You know, I just believe in God. You yeah. know, I pray. You know, I believe in Jesus Christ, no cap. So it's like, I got faith without sin. You know how you can see something without yeah, already man. touching yep. it. It's like, you know, that's where I came from, like the church and all that praying. Because at one point you think it's it's football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, damn, no, it's not football. But this I ain't going to lie, boys. I always knew I was greater at 
Same. Uh, yeah, you know, and that's what I always tell people too, man. There's a this and a that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like even with me, man, going through and getting into radio or getting into music, so on and so forth. You know, you still live life, and I crashed the car, getting into trouble and everything. But I always knew that there was something else that was going on. Right. So you always knew, like, nah, there, there's there's something bro, going on over like here. Like you got to think when I was signing the block. You know, no disrespect to block. You know, he cool. I appreciate everything he did to me. But I remember. I remember. Uh, I mean, I appreciate everything he did for me. You know, I remember um, I remember when I was like 16, I was finna turn 17, I was like, man, I ain't really feeling it. Like, cause I, I used to always tell people, if I don't come out when I'm 16, cause I remember Justin Bieber was so big. You know? <laughs> I was like, man, if I don't come out when I'm 16, I don't even want to come out. Like, y'all can just cancel Christmas. I don't want to do Damn. it. I don't want to do it. So I remember I, I came off, I was like, man. So I was like, man, I'm finna turn 17. So I just stopped going to the studio, you feel me? But I was like, I'm finna do an independent thing. I'm gonna let my deal run out. So I started working on my mixtape on the low. At the age of? 16. Me and my boy TK, TK Kravitz. Mm-hmm. I used to pull up to TK house every day. You Damn. feel me? My, my mama used to drop me off. I was like, I'm going to do this on the low, on the back end. And then the day my contract got released from Block, I dropped round of applause. That was my At mixtape. At the age of? 16. That's crazy. You feel me? So... And from then, I dropped 10 mixtapes. I got 10 mixtapes. Hey, man, so an album. When, when, yeah, an when, album. You, when you fast forward to not even like now, but just fast forward a little bit, do you feel sometimes, Jacquees, people don't see the work of course. that you put in? A lot of people don't because it's just like I look at it and you got to think. I just look at how long it took BED to do what it did. Right, right, you know, right. I was pushing BED for three years. And you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't coming off of it. You could did, ask Doc. I was did like, I ain't anybody off of it. think like, man, like, how do you go with something where you say, man, I'm pushing this for three years? When we see other things that just seem like they blow up, I was just what like, kept you going on that? Because I was just like, because I wasn't getting radio play. Right. You know, I'm, I came from the underground, like mixtapes, all that. You know what I'm saying? So I was seeing my shows on the road and I was noticing that BED was the biggest song because they had one with another record called Good called Good Feeling. Mm-hmm. And I remember Doc them came there, all the radio PDs came and they picked this record and I was trying to tell them like, man, it's BD. So I was on the road and I was doing my thing and I was like, man, you know the years was going. I was like, bro, we gotta go with BD. You feel me? And they was like, we're gonna go with it. And that was my first platinum plant. And they you had know? and all because you you stayed with it. Yeah, and ever since then I pick all the singles now. Yeah, yeah. So what what's your relationship with like Doc or Boss now? Did you yeah, I heard you had made something that it was called Fuck Doc. <laughs> nah, 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 you didn't do Doc. a song called Fuck Doc. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck Cause Doc, Doc, Doc always looked out for me. You didn't have a song called Fuck no, Doc Winner in not, the center of his ass. Ooh, <laughs> hell nah, <laughs> hell nah. You that know I ain't getting down like that. Hell nah. <laughs> not like that, but you was like, man, fuck it. Nah, was, hell nah, not Doc. Wow. You know Doc like my uncle. <laughs> nah, hell nah. So I gotta ask, man. Now we were talking about music and everything, and I yeah. said sometimes. The comments, right? You know what I'm saying. What's being said outside of the music gets bigger, mm-hmm. not bigger, but that's what people pay attention to. Yeah, the hottest thing, king of R and B. You know what I'm saying. You got a lot of people that was like, "What is this about?" Exactly. Talk to me about about where did that come from? A well, shout out to Birdman and Slim. You know what I'm saying. Cash money. You know I'm cash money forever. Hello. So I got to let them know that. I can't Same here. They put my book out. You know what I'm saying. Cash money <laughs> publication. They didn't put me as an artist. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> But you know how I came up with the King of R&B thing? It's like I already been doing my thing since, like seriously, like no cap. Like if you was from where I'm from, like I had a song in the neighborhood. I had songs in the neighborhood that everybody knew. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it was big songs. And then I started dropping these mixtapes. I formed a fan base, Team Jacquees. You know, in all the years my career been going like this. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I watched other artists come in the game, get signed, had a single. Do they thing? They get the big video. The big, the big artists. They get the big video. You know, they do their thing. One on six and park, MTV. You know, then they fall off. Yeah, here today, gone tonight. And I noticed me still not on TV. You know, just still rising, doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, here go, here come another one. He coming. He gonna come do his thing. He gonna fall off too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna still keep rising. So it's like, at this point now, I got a deal. I'm doing my thing. Every single we done dropped on went gold or platinum. I'm still looking around, noticing niggas falling off every day. And I'm just like, I'm the king of this generation. You feel me? Like, it's I'm I'm really doing that for the music I'm making and everything. Like, I feel like I brought a whole nother sound. Not another sound, but a sound that R&B missed back to the game. Mm. And I wasn't even the one that, that was the first one to say I was the king of R&B. It was on a, a radio station. I forgot what radio station it was. I had like three shows that day. And I had flew into the city and did a show. Then when I was flying out, I was in the car with my driver. And they was like, yeah, man, Jacquees just, just, just shut down the stage. 
And they was like, man, if you think about it, man, Jacquees, if you got kids, you know, like, they not talking about, you know, the older R&B artists, you know, much respect to all them, but they was like, they not talking about them. They was like, they talking about Jacquees. They were like, Jacquees really like the king of this generation for mm -hmm. R&B. So I was like, I, I started recording it instantly. Yeah. It's on the video. <laughs> I was like, my eyes got so big. I was like, y'all heard that? I was talking to Drive. I was like, bro, y'all heard that? Then I was like, damn. Do you think that people took the bite size and the clickbait as opposed to hearing how you could explain it? Man, it's like, because it's I Niggas be trying to act like they don't be paying attention to me anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 so like, want to, uh, and now you're trying to act like all eyes on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, I, I, okay, now I got your attention. You right. know what I'm saying? Cool. But I wasn't even doing that to get your attention. I was really just... But now that I have your now attention. Now that I have your full-blown attention, my single drops tomorrow. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this, man. When you say... of the, Because when you say king of R&B of this generation, yeah. a lot of people didn't really hear... You whatever it may be, bite size, this, the clickbait, generation. I mean like sixteen to twenty five. Right. Fifteen, fourteen, twenty five. Why do you think people had so much debate over it? Because, you know, they ain't never had as much they ain't never had no nuts like that. To why say you what can't I call did. yourself the king no of R and B? No glory. But why you can't call yourself the king of R and B for this generation? I don't understand why not. Ain't nobody else claimed it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Why can't I be? And I am. Right. You know, like I walk around now, people be like the king. That's the king. I be like the show. Would you think I'm the king of radio? You one of the kings? No, I'm the king. You the king then? Thank you. I take it. Man. Yeah, don't. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, cause you know what? I remember when Proud Family was out. You came on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know some man. of my work as well, man. You ever heard any of my R and B tracks? You ever like, heard any of my R and B songs? Nah. Oh what? yeah, yeah. Oh man, Ella, man. You got. Okay. Oh man, you got. Nah, you a legend uh, this motherfucker. Well, that's what I do, man. You know what I'm saying? Legend to legend. You know what I'm saying? But but now we hear people. The biggest comeback of of 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. The you know I, I'm I'm legendary. I'm. King. Do you feel like sometimes Jacquees that we're using that term too loosely now? Everybody's the goat. Everybody's the king. You know what I'm saying? Who else the king? Uh, Chris Brown. Chris Brown is the I king. I Chris Brown. Uh, Soldier Boy is the king. Uh, the, the no, no, no. Not the saying that they not the kings because, you know, Chris Brown, my brother, I used to live with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We used to stay in the same house. Like, bro, like, bro let me live with him when I was 18. That's, <laughs> you feel me? That's my how did that happen? Uh, hood. Yeah. Shout, out like, hood. shout out to Hood. Shout out to Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> shout out to Hood and Reese. You know what I'm saying? Like they knew I, I used to want to be with Chris Brown so bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was finna sign to CB. I was gonna be with CB before I got with Cash Money. So with you saying this is who I am, yeah. this isn't about this is who you're not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you saying for me to be the king, I'm not saying nah. you're. I'm not shitting on you. Nah, I ain't saying CB not the king because CB the king of his generation. Right. Right. For sure. You're and, saying of your and, generation. Yeah. I'm the next one. You feel me? It's my turn. You feel me? It's my turn. Yeah, and you my saying turn. if not you, then who? <laughs> <laughs> me and Chris Brown got a whole album we ain't even dropped yet. Well, give it to me. I bootlegged mm -hmm. in Japan then. You <laughs> it's, it's, done, it's, done, it's done, done? Yeah, it's done, done. Why, why, when are you guys going to drop it? I don't know. CB controlling it. Mm. You know How long saying? ago did you guys finish this album? We did this album last year, January through like March. Hmm. Why do you think he's holding on to it? I don't know. Big Brother's probably trying to Put it together. Right. Did he you call know, you at all when this whole king of R and B went yeah, down? Because yeah. obviously his name was brought hit, into the I conversation. Hit, but Chris never I, said his. No, he, he didn't. Never, yeah. I hit Chris up because Trey hit me up. Okay. Mm. Trey, what did he Trey say? Songs? Yeah, Trey okay. hit me up because Trey wanted the kings too. You already yeah, know. Of course. Yeah. You feel me? And what did show. he say? He was just like, "Lil Brady need to drop a song now." Right. While we need, looking and listening, paying attention, do everything you need to do now. Donnell Jones hit me. Donnell Jones hit you. Right. So these are G's too, though. That didn't have a problem with. Jagged Edge hit me. Wow. Lil, Lil G hit me from Silk. Did anybody hit you that had a problem with it, like directly? Um, who had a problem? Um, they probably didn't hit you directly. Oh, that yeah. would be KC like, hit me from Jodeci with a problem wow. or just nah, love? not a problem, just love. Okay, he, so he, you, he pulled up on me. So you did have love with that. I had a lot of love. I heard that. Are you still the king? For sure. He like, man, he like, big, why you ask me these stupid ass questions? Like I said, I'm the king. I'm the king. Like, like big, why you I'm the king, big. Then we say this, like, why you keep trying to, what are you trying king, to stir man. up here? Like, I'm the king, man. You know, let me tell you what I did, peep, that I was like, man, what the hell is Jacquees doing? You did a show with Keith Sweat. I knew he was going to say that. And you walked up on Keith Sweat. Nah, see, this is what happened. I just got off stage right. at V103, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm on, I got off stage doing my thing. You know, I'm already turned up. I performed right. with a mask the whole show. You feel I was just on some bullshit. 
You feel me? This is when the King R&B first happened. <laughs> so you riding I'm it. already on some bullshit. All the R&B singers coming backstage. I'm dapping them up hard as hell. You feel me? I'm just... <laughs> I'm just on one. You feel me? <laughs> so goddamn, I'm walking past the dressing room. So I don't even notice there's OG Key Sweat. You feel yeah. me? So it's a camera out, but I still don't notice it because there's always cameras out. So they so so they like somebody king or something. So my boy like, bro, you hit him, just call him the king. So I'm like, who? I went back. That's when I turned around. So you around. turned around. Yeah, I on turned it. around like, who the king? You feel me? I was just, I don't know. I was on one bit, but mm-hmm. I turned around like, you know what I'm saying? And that's when you see the video. But then I didn't know that was Keith Sweat. You feel me? Because then after the video, me and, me and Keith Sweat chopped it up. Okay. But now and, we like see, this, that's though. what they don't show. Now you know like what I'm this. saying? Yeah, now we like this, though. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, like, like OG. But you say you you grew up with all that music anyway. Yeah. You like, know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, Keith Sweat tried to bring me out at the Essence Festival for the King of R&B. But I had a show. You know what I'm right. saying? And Him and Babyface. We, yeah, because we Ooh, I Baby definitely get, couldn't have it. it, it Babyface. Yeah, they was gonna bring me out. Man, I heard that you had a disc record towards Babyface. No, okay. Yeah, just playing with you. Let me tell you. Jack See, one Reese, thing about I'm it, I ain't never dissed nobody. You did. All, yeah. I, all you I, did. I ever, all I ever did was remix people's songs. Right. What made you a uh, remix Avant's "Read Your Mind"? Well, I mean, you know, that was like a sample. You know, honestly, mm-hmm. I just heard the beat. My producer had done done put that in the beat, so it was mm-hmm. just like it sounded like it. I jumped in the booth and just made the hook. You're like, that's it. Yeah, gotta that's go it. with it. Still what, in the neighborhood. Go ahead now. Hello. What made you sign with Cash Money? You just said that you were going to sign with CB. Why Cash Money over CB? Well, really, at the time, CB was kind of going through a lot of stuff at the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Personally, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Him being my big brother, he was just telling me like, you need to go do what you're gonna do. Yeah, where mm-hmm. the people you know are focusing saying? on something a little yeah, different. He was like, right you know now. what I'm saying? You need to go. And get it, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So, you know, God rained down and Stunner was in Atlanta. You feel me? He was working with um Thug and Corn. Mm. And I just made the call and I got it in. You know, I always told people that I always would have signed with cash money since I was little. When I was young, I used to have a cash money shop. Ah, wow. The one that you would buy? Yep. Easy and call. And the beauty supply. Yeah, I so, so you, you, <laughs> you kind of channeled right that there. into existence. Yeah, I spoke my whole life into existence. Yeah, man, you know easy call. Saying? Like, I ain't going to lie to you. My whole life was, I got the power of the tongue. You know, like, I believe in the universe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the angel numbers and different stuff like that. You know, so I spoke all this up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna cap. I spoke all this up. Everything. What, was there anyone that advised you not to sign with Cash Money and not go with Birdman? Yeah, everybody. Because, you know, at the time of what was going on with right. Wayne and mm-hmm. all that, they were like, bro, why the hell would you sign a Cash Money if he got something going on with Wayne? But I always just been the type of man where it's like, I'm a, I'm a, like, if Big Boy got something going on with him, they ain't got really got nothing yeah. to do with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to really go see what Big Boy talking about with me and right. him. So that's yeah. just how I always, and you know, I'm a, I'm the biggest Wayne fan in the world. But, you know, I, and that's half the reason I signed the Cash Money too, because of Wayne. Right. You know, because I'm like, man, I'm going to have songs with the Wayne. And you then, see the machine as well too, though. Exactly. You know I always knew that. Stunner done changed everybody's life. And he worked hard. How yeah, is yeah. it working with Birdman? I love working with Stunner. You know, I've been down since I was 19. So it's like, I love it. Like, Stunner done gave me so much game. What's like one of the biggest pieces of advice that he's given you? Real talk, just probably keeping my creative mind, like not letting nobody else control it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just always keep me always doing what I want to do. Like this ain't about nobody else. Like can't nobody tell you what to do. That's what I always tell me. Like I can't even tell you what to do. Like, hey, Jacquees, do you feel like we have seen nothing yet? Yeah, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Y'all yeah. seen a little bit for sure. Right, now, right, y'all done right, seen a lot because I done had to prove myself. You know what I'm saying? So y'all done definitely seen a lot. Like I done gave y'all stuff I ain't even have to. Is, is it different proving yourself now because... There's so many this and that. Now it's not just about music; it's about what it looked like on social media. What is this? What is, is it? I'm harder? a full package. Yeah. Is is it? And do you feel like it's harder now to to have everybody kind of tune in? To I mean, you just gotta, you know. Well, when I came in the game, see, I was probably like the last bit of that, like passing your mixtapes out. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, cause now everything is digital. Mm-hmm. So when I look at the game now, I mean, it's like I just adjust. Right. I just adjust. You know what I'm saying? I just adjust. Does it seem easier to you now with that hustler's mentality? Like, man, everybody came over to me because I said such and such. Like, they making this too easy. I mean, I got everybody's attention now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's on now. Like, yeah, it's man. on officially. Like, it's on. And then you got to think, too, man. Like, and, and I don't know if people wanted me to get you in here and battle with you and all that <laughs> yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. But also, you can't front on there's talent. Thank you. Vivian. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't front on talent. That like yeah. This That's dude. why I love when people see me perform. Right. 
I'd be like, bro, come to a show. He ain't, he ain't never seen him perform. I'm a whole nother man. <laughs> do do you and, and not to take it away from anything else, man, but do you feel like you've put a lot of they, they have you read a book called The Outliers? Uh-uh. Well, it, it says for anything that you want to do, you got to kind of in paraphrase, you got to put in 10,000 hours. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like I feel like you put your 10,000 hours in? We do. Not to take away from anybody else, but do you feel like some people not putting their 10,000 hours in? I mean, if they ain't good for me, keep the lane open. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm I want you to keep the lane open. What's next for Jacquees? I got my not whole, in game, but next. I got my whole label. Uh, We're doing my situation right now with cash money. Why is that important to you? Because, you know, I'm a boss, you know, and it's, it's always been my dream to, you know, I mean, not even my dream. You know, I like blessing other people, too. Yeah. You know, I like to see other people shining. You know, I want to see my partner shining, too. You know, I don't want to be the only one in the room with a bag full of money. Yeah, man. You know, I want my partners to have bread, too, so I'm signing all my partners. And, you know, they say, man, if you're the smartest person in the room, then you're in the wrong room. Mm-hmm. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> like, real, though. Yeah. So, I like that. Yeah, man. So that's what I always try to be. Like, okay, if, if you the so-called richest one in the room, you're in the wrong room. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, my album. My album going to come out. Now, what's going down? Now, what what's the energy when you go into to an album? Because we see mixtape energy, yeah. too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like this- Album energy is, like, the same. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, the difference is the focus. Cause you know, Because so? you know, like, you finna drop an album. Like okay. this ain't More no pressure. Play thing. I mean, it's a little bit of pressure, but mm-hmm. ain't no pressure. For is real. it is it a little bit more pressure now that everybody's looking and some people got their arms crossed, or is it just like? Nah, I'm still pray. like, cause I've been hard. It's like now I'm glad <laughs> you're looking. You feel me? Now I'm glad you're paying attention. Now lit. Now, now check me out. How much of the album do you have already done? The album done. My album called Completely Round done. Two. Yeah, my album Round complete, Two. Round Two. Do you have any features on there? Yeah, I got um, little baby on the album. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gun on the album. Okay. Um, thug on the album. How do you pick who do you who do you who do you work with? You know, I'm always work with Young Thug. Mm-hmm. You What's know, the man? relationship there? Me and Thug. Yeah. Oh, that's my that's my brother. You feel me? <laughs> that's my brother. He got my back. Hey man, you know how good does it feel when you see somebody going, and then you going? You know what I'm saying? And the the different conversations that y'all that y'all have now because you oh, have yeah, conversations. Dope. Like I remember the beginning, like. I remember when Thug used to ask me, like, you ain't got no money. Feel me? He's like, you want to bring your girl out here? He's like, it's about the money. Yeah. He's like, bro, I throw you 5000 This is back in the beginning. He's like, I throw you 5000 in your pocket. You want to bring your girl? Then I remember we went to the mall, Ball Harbor the first time. I ain't had no money. This one stunned the first sign out of And I remember they was in there buying everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I remember I would just send down and shit. I had on a white tee. Aww. I would just send down. And I remember Thug came over. He was like, you want me to buy you something? He like, I'll get you whatever you want. He was like, shit, cause Stunner watch you. You know what I'm saying? He just watch you right now. He wanna see how you gonna react. Mm-hmm. And he was like, next time you come here, he gonna buy you whatever you want. And that's exactly what happened. He like, he gonna give you the check, he gonna do it, and that's exactly what happened. Hey man, and now yeah. it's just me and Thug <laughs> just tight. He done he done tried to pull me up so much. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I done been on like all bro albums. But mm-hmm. you know what's dope about that, man, mm-hmm. is that no matter where you are right now. You remember that. Oh, yeah. And then, and then you want to expose somebody else to that. Straight mm-hmm. up, bro. Yeah, man. Exactly. Running you know back. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Running back. And then not even just in the music tip. You know, Thug do a lot for me in real life. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Like, been doing that. So, you know, we we down for life. Does he? Is he in a position where he can push you forward and pull you back? If you feel like just, you're doing just, too much? He, he could just pull me up. You know, we ain't doing nothing but pulling each other up. You feel me? That's our relationship. You know what I'm saying? Let's just win. Can he? Does he pull you back if you feel like you're doing too much? He'll always tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. He a big bro. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Call. He was always big bro from easy the beginning, call. like without bread. Jacquees, why were you asked to take down Trip? Remix. Really, DJ must have hated on me. Oh, really though? No. You know what I'm saying? No cap. That was crazy. Shout out to YG. YG my partner. And I want to work with DJ Mustard too, but that was a hate move because it was crazy because... It was going too, huh? Yeah, and mm-hmm. I thought it was just dope, you know, because I've been making remix for, for a long time. Mm-hmm. And so, you know... um, and Ella May, we had just became friends. You know what I'm saying? We had just became friends. I had just met her backstage at the CB concert. We had another show together. She was supposed to come to my after party. We were just linking up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I did Trip. I DM Ella May. I was like, I'm finna redo Trip. I was like, this hard. And I dropped Trip. And uh, Ella May commented on it. She put all the fire on it. Like, this uh-huh. hard. Like, she didn't say this hard, but she just put all the fire on mm-hmm. it. Fire emojis. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's yeah. crazy. It's approved, yeah. You feel me? So... We like, damn, we going up. You feel mm-hmm. me? But see, I shot a video for it, and the director put it on his uh, YouTube page or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I guess from 
YouTube or whatever he, he monetized from or whatever. Right, you know you what I'm saying? You do, I guess you do monetize mm-hmm. from it. But I put it on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. SoundCloud, you ain't monetizing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? SoundCloud, you just playing it for your fans. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what SoundCloud doing now. Whether right, they right. doing whatever, whatever. But you, you know, know you didn't make switch. no bread off right. of it. Right, I ain't make not a dime off of it. You know what I'm saying? You were just like enjoying the song. Yeah, you, you know, because I've been remixing people's songs. Like, you know, it's no different from how Nicki remixing everybody's song now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And ain't nobody said nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like no different from when T-Pain redid Booed Up and all that. Nobody said nothing, but I did Trip. And everybody tripped on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you got to understand, I lost a friend within LMA. You dig? Behind yeah. all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted her on my album. So was you it just a money thing? I don't know. You got to think. I didn't get to talk to LMA after that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's like I seen like, and and it's like I know uh, YG done with them too. But me and YG never talked about it either. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But um, it's like I want to my I want to hear my album. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm the type of dude. Do in you the feel game. like that ship has sailed though? Like it, that's over or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know this the industry. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And at the end of the day, you know I know she gonna see this interview. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like, you know, she'll know, like, damn, Jacquees ain't no no bullshit. Because, you know, the internet will make you feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you know very saying? much so. People will say, like, man, this better than that, this better than this. And one thing about me, I've never been the type to say I was better than nobody, even if people thought I was. You know what I'm saying? Like, people been telling me my remixes was better than originals. Mm-hmm. But I just always was like, cool. <laughs> right, right, let <laughs> like, them say. Yeah, like, thank you, you feel me? Like, I'm never going to get out here on the mic and be like, I'm better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? You'll hear me say I'm the king of R&B. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But still... That's just how I feel about myself. That's still not saying, like, I'm better than you. I'm just the king, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? You might drop another hit bigger than mine. I'm still the king. You know what I'm saying? Plus, the intention wouldn't be to remix somebody's song to be better than them. Because it's then just it's, because at the end like of the day, the somebody song. else, right? Because you it's, like the it's song. It's like I like the record. Because you know? at the end of the day, it's somebody else's song. Remember when Wayne used to jack everybody beat? Right. And we <laughs> know used to love it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why I'm the one getting the, getting the cease and desist? Oh, you know man. What I'm so they, so they, it was legal and they served and everything. Oh, yeah. Because it looked like it was going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was and going. It was just like, you right. know, I ain't going to lie. In my city, not even just my city, everywhere around the world, they was playing it on the radio. Like, if you ever came to Atlanta. Do you still perform it? Nah. Man, I be sneak performing that shit like that. Nah, nah. <laughs> the only reason I'm performing is because, you know. And you got others. Like, I don't, and, I don't, and I don't even Good want, and I'm the type of person, like, I don't even want no smoke. Like, you know, we could yeah. do all that. You know, everything could go up. But I don't, but I am the type of dude, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, I done yeah. grew up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, don't nobody want no smoke. And then anything, and I not just work that with, one. I want to work with DJ Mustard. I want to work with LMA. I want to work with everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, ain't, I don't, I'm And cool. then it's also, there's a lot more, man. That's not the first. That's not your last. Nah. You know I just, I just remixed Karma. But I just ain't, <laughs> yeah. ain't dropping <laughs> Well, they're going to send a cease and desist on that <laughs> right, one, too, because yeah. we got it right here. <laughs> Jacquees, can I ask you any feelings on, on R. Kelly? Do you look at R. Kelly as as an inspiration? Do you know how to separate the music, or you just you just don't mess with it at all? I can't even fuck with it. Mm-hmm. I just can't fuck with it. You know, that's it's, it's deep. You know what I'm saying? I sung I Believe I Can Fly, my pre-commitment. Mm. High school, I'll never forget yeah. that. No, I, never, I think we all. I never forget. I never forget all my memories with the music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause you you can't forget. But I just hate. I just hate the choices that he made. You know what I'm saying? Like I just wish that somebody would have got a grip on him early. Mm-hmm. You know, I just wish that he would have made better decisions in his life. I just wish that he would have just stood tall, strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and the thing about it, man, is music is so powerful too. And there's times when you can look at an artist, like a piece of art. And you can still look at that picture and say, man, that picture of that art, the painting is beautiful. Mm-hmm. The artist that painted it could probably be a piece of shit or whatever. But Dan, like how you said, I believe you sung I Believe I Can Fly. That's a beautiful song. It's an iconic song and for a lot of people. And then now it's like, ah, shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You try to think like, damn, but the motherfucker that wrote it, damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your, uh, your point of view on like the canceled culture? Like when, when so, like someone does something wrong and it's like, oh, now that artist is canceled. Now that's, Michael is canceled. Now hey, that Daniel Michael Caesar. Jackson shit, some bullshit. Fuck that. What do you mean? That Michael Jackson shit, some bullshit. As far as that Michael the Jackson allegations, shit, some bullshit. Just the whole why? operation, the whole leaving so? Neverland, the whole all that shit is fucking crazy. Like that shit crazy. Like no disrespect to Oprah or nothing, but she should have never did that. Why you feel Oprah shouldn't set she down? She should have never did that shit. Because I remember, and I, I probably wasn't even born, but I just remember looking up. It was a time when Michael, that was the only person he'll talk to. Was Oprah. Was Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. That man can't even defend himself. He, we should just let Mike rest in peace. And I, I think that's where a lot of people are right now saying he can't defend himself. I, I saw the leaving Neverland. I ain't going to lie. I ain't even watch that shit. Don't watch it. I ain't even watch that yeah. shit, dog. You got to yeah. understand, Michael Jackson is the reason I sing. Mm-hmm. 
You did? But yeah. I thought I was Lil Michael Jackson. Like, I just told you how I had the fake afro, yeah, the bell yeah, bottle. Yeah, easy call. You feel me? So it's like, but, I just don't want my head to get fucked up. Yeah, this? that's what I'm saying. If <laughs> if that's where you are, don't watch it. But then but then you feel a certain way about R. Kelly, yeah. though. Like, I, I get the fact that Michael isn't here, but that doesn't take away from the truth. You're right. It doesn't take the, away the nothing victims. being wrong. Right. Now, I'm not saying that none of that stuff happened. I'm just saying it's some bullshit. Like, I hate it. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I'm just one of the people like, fuck. And I'm yeah, not going to watch yeah. it. The same way you was talking about R. Kelly. Yeah, like, you fuck, know, I like that I style. ain't saying that. Now, wrong is wrong. Right is right. I'm off uh, I'm not with none of that shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't with no weird shit, no child shit, no shit, nothing. No little boy shit, no little girl shit. None of that shit. I just hate that shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it's just like, damn, you look at Michael Jackson and be like, That's damn. That's your idol. You look at R. Kelly and be like, damn. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You be like, damn, 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 damn. Right. <laughs> hey, man, you said enough. We're going to leave it right there. That shit be crazy, bro. Man. What have you learned about yourself going from your first mixtape to now finishing your first album? That I'm not a quitter, but I've been mm-hmm. through that by myself. Mm-hmm. Though. But I just, because I went through a lot of adversity. I could have been getting Yeah, it. man. What has been and your you biggest struggle? you had a struggle? lot of almost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Oh, this is it. Almost. Ah, damn it. Like, I just never gave up on myself. Mm-hmm. You know? What... Your struggles, I'm obviously, they're going to be different now. Now you, like, part of the struggle was, like, getting your foot in the door. Right. What are the struggles that you go through now? What do Kui go through? I'm up. I don't really go through now. Okay. She said, well, you rich, rich. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You rich, rich. <laughs> hey, man, speaking of rich, rich, did your mom just get married? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what, what did you give your mom mm-hmm. as a wedding gift? Hundred thousand dollars. A hundred. All that couldn't even fit in the duffel bag, so I had to bring the other bag. <laughs> yeah, two bags. Yeah. What did she say? She said, "I thank you." <laughs> she, she, she was just, you know, she she shared the tissue. Like, baby, thank you, baby. Like, cause you know, my mama gave me everything. Yeah, man, course, easy life. Like, Were you happy to see her get married? Yeah, yeah, cause you gotta understand, she got married to my best friend, daddy. Oh, oh shit! Wow. Hey, we, 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 yeah, we all grew up in the hood together. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, hood. so so you knew exactly who she was marrying. Mm-hmm. It was approved, and you was like, you like you your brother just, best friend you now." A hundred thousand dollars, even if it is to your mom, because yeah, you'd be like, "Man, you know, I, I, I know you're gonna get him some." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what no, mean? man. Yeah, your best pop. friend walking around all flossing. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Where you get them? Where you get them dirty Gucci shoes? Our mama bought them. New dirty Gucci shoes. What the hell? We not boycotting those. We can't get those for another thirty-eight days. Real talk. What the hell? What is going on, but man? Nah, that's my boy Boki, and then see Boki, one of my artists too. Wow! Oh, really? Yeah, so Wait, Boki what? signed the FYB. That's so. Did you sing at the wedding? Mm-mm. My R&B group did. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was like, "Man, can I just be a son?" <laughs> yeah, I was a son that day. Be over there paying Aww. yourself. Like, I was drinking. Or gym. you go back to your mom like, "Hey, mom, that's gonna be a hundred thousand for that the performance. performance." And it's so dope because Mama's still peeling off of it. That's dope, man. Yeah. Did, and not that did you everything, but how good does that feel? Yeah, man. That feel amazing, bro. Cause you got a thousand, you should steal gas from my mama. Like she ain't had no you gas in her car. Yeah, man. You was just going siphon. It? Like I remember, she used to be like, I remember one time we was in the car, I was like eight years old. I remember she was like, man, we ain't got no gas. You feel me? It was just us. You feel me? I was like, shit, I know some gas at. Mm-hmm. Like I got it. Like I knew this dude who used to have lawnmowers and shit. I remember I went on his back shit and just took all the gas, just filled my mama shit up. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I was only eight. But and, and you know it's a wow. trip. Like you took wow. care of it then. And you're taking care of it now. Yeah, I used to be the type, like, when everybody walk in the house, my mama's still outside getting stuff. I used to wait. Aww. I couldn't go in the house. You hear me? That's dope, man. That's How proud is your mom? She's super proud. My yeah, mama, my number one fan. You got to think, my mama, when I first started getting on the road, when I was, like, I had my first page show at 16. Damn. She used to pack my bags and, like, put a note in there. I ain't never used to oh. notice the note, though, until I pe- take my clothes out and never be like, she's all right, man. I still got all of them. That's Aww. dope. I heard your mom wanted to fist fight mustard for that season this year. That's my mother. <laughs> and it's so crazy because I opened up for YG on my crazy life tour. In LA. It's all gravy, man. But I'm I, that's beautiful how you take care of your mom, yeah, man. Bro, that's Never stop that. And I got yeah. sisters too. That's know? your character too, bro. Yeah, that shows know. character, man. You said that you wanted to get LMA on this album and you couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Who else would you like to work on? Uh, I like her. That's my homie. Yeah. Oh, Gabby. Yeah, Gabby. Yeah, that's my homie. She uh she brought me out out here in LA on her tour. And, you know, we was on tour with Chris Brown, so we became friends. And then, you know, she used to be a fan of my music back in the day. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I just went through all my old Twitter followers. <laughs> wow. And I seen Gabby Wilson. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, you're like, oh, oh here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Grammy <laughs> winner now. How proud of you are how proud, proud are you of her? I'm proud of her because her she real. 
Mm-hmm. And then she got my back. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, when people try to talk down about me, her got on the interview and was like, I ain't gonna let nobody talk about Jacquees. Jacquees a hustler. Jacquees pull up in Jacquees pull up in vans, beat up vans, yeah. jump out, perform. He ain't tripping. Like they Go they see my character. They know I'm real and they know I'm just genuine. I'm just I'm on a positive vibe. I'm just cool. You know, when when people get around me, it's like damn. Yeah, people know. You feel me? They be like, damn, bro, I really hate I would like that. Because you know, you know it's a trip though, man, not knowing you. And this is our first sit down. Right. Like now knowing you too. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. Like you know unless you just came in, you're a foot smooth bullshit artist. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I look at that. They love me in there. You think, a, in there. Nah. you think a lot of people have a misconception about you? Definitely. Now, of course. Mm-hmm. And people what? think I'm so cocky. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the humblest artist in the game, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Because I done been around some folks. And they be like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Treat people crazy. Mm-hmm. You know We're also in a different generation where people just get riled up about anything. Like you said, oh my like, gosh, when you man. said that you were the king of R and B, I didn't have any problem with it because again, you weren't knocking anybody else out. Exactly. Right. It was just people you was were talking about other people yourself. names in it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Which like, you're allowed to say. It's crazy, bro. But that I did crazy. I did look at that Keith Sweat shit though. I ain't gonna lie <laughs> to you. The Keith Sweat one, yeah. I did look hey, at that like because I went hard in it. Yeah, man. <laughs> but but not but looking at it and then not doubling and not coming around. OG put me in the corner though. We went to the side. Like me and yeah. bro went to the side. Me, him, and Greg Street. And and and, <laughs> and it's going to be, man, from what I'm seeing too, Jacquees, you looking for longevity. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And and you looking for longevity, man. And the way that you get up is not by stepping on other people. And you, you figured that out. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then down the road, there's going to be somebody else that's going to come and try to knock you off your square. Definitely. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And for it's sure. already happening. You already know. They, you know they're trying saying? to do them right now. Yeah, easy call. Easy sure. call. I got, I got an RB artist, man. He's not the king. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But he, right now, he's a, he, he's a prince. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Believe <laughs> And I got another one called the Duke. The Duke of hey, R&B. Believe it. They all, R&B. They all coming for you. Did Bobby Brown have a problem with King that of R&B? That was crazy. And you know what's so crazy, bro? I love Bobby Brown. Yeah, bro. man. <laughs> like, I'm talking about Bobby's seriously. Bobby's so real. I'm, I'm scared even. That, that, nigga Bobby, that nigga Bobby said, oh, he gonna have to battle me. <laughs> on stage <laughs> That nigga said He gotta Jacquee gotta see me Hey man Bobby my guy We gonna leave it right there You know what I'm saying But I, I didn't I even think you, That Bobby, Bobby Yeah <laughs> Bob, Yeah And you know it's a trip Cause Bob <laughs> is The king of R&B Straight up You know what I'm saying And nobody else Really came I, I think I saw Tank Say something Yeah But it was like It was like you know, you know Young young, young guys And you man, know what I'm saying But say more yeah, yeah, but, like, I'm not even gonna look. yeah, I ain't even but, gonna lie. Yeah, ain't But yeah, you know, I, but I felt like Bob w- would say something, and rightfully so. For he sure. should have. Every, you know, whoever felt something should have said something. Who, who didn't feel something shouldn't have said anything. You know what I'm but saying? See, but see, they but need now to battle it's, it's, the generations. Right. So mm-hmm. Bobby Brown go against everybody in his generation. Right. Mm-hmm. They go against everybody in their generation. They go against everybody in their generation. I go against everybody in my generation. Right. Well, you said generation. Yeah. But Bob, see, Bob is the king. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. The, the king. king. All right, Bobby Brown is the king of R&B. I'm taking it. All righty. For sure. And Jack is, is the, the king, king of R&B. No, the king of his generation. <laughs> everybody, everybody, sure. there's, there's a lot of kings Jack out there, man. the king of R&B for his generation. Yeah, I just want to know if you ever get confused to uh, to, to other rappers. Uh, what do you know, mean? With other rappers. Yeah, with other, other rappers, rappers, yeah. Yeah, but only by certain people. You know what I'm saying? By like, whites? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Only by, like, certain people. Yeah. What yeah. names do you get? Yeah. Quavo. Yeah, that's what I was. That's where I was going. Really? Yeah. I was going I with Quavo give, a little bit. Like, what I, would give you, I would give you Wayne. Yeah, they they they. It started with, with white Wayne. goggles on. Well, you know, because white people see. I look like <laughs> Lil Wayne. Goggles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I probably <laughs> look like Lil Wayne. It's just Wayne and, people. It's just Wayne and Quavo. Quavo, yeah. really? You, were you thinking Quavo? I was thinking Quavo. That's what they be saying. You know, I'd be like, for real. Sometimes I'd be like, okay, yeah, cool. I think in certain pictures I've seen it. Really? I see though. the resemblance. Yeah. Okay. But probably, you know, probably just been person. black my whole life. You know, so. me and Quaidum grew up together too. We so. all look alike anyway. Uh, you good. know what I'm saying? Everybody with dreads, they say we look alike. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> T Pain. They just name you and just call you everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> How old were you when you met Quavo? When I met Quavo, I was probably like, probably like, 16, 17, because okay. I'll say it used to be in my neighborhood area, Kiara. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that boy. another one where y'all just see each other now? Like, look at us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, look at talk. this. I swear. I swear. I swear. Did you know it? it? Like, I'm sure they saw something in you. Did you see something in them? Yeah, you got to think. Like, see, you got to think. I was around Offset more than them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But see, I used to, I remember one time I pulled up and sold my partner some shoes at Quavo House. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. You know trying saying? to get that gas money again. You know huh? what I mean? Easy so, call. It's just like, you know, Set them was already 
you know, set can tick too. You know what I'm saying? Brother yeah. know how to dance. Yeah. Yeah. He used to come from behind the cleaners and like <laughs> right. hey. crank it up. You feel me? And we used to shoot dice. You know what I'm saying? We used to gam- we used to be gamblers. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's that's that was our connection. You know what I'm saying? And we all came up. You feel me? Like when Migos blew up. Cause see, I was out there when remember when Migos first blew up and then uh remember Offset was locked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was out there when he got locked up. All of us was out there. Hey man, let me wow. how do you keep your focus? When you see other people starting to blow up, because you know how oh, no, you, you just you get that like dude, you know the, you like, just stay focused. Yeah, you just focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't like no competition with right. us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we all help each other. Mm-hmm. So it's like when Migos took off, they was helping everybody. You know what I'm saying? When everybody take off, you know it's just like a it's like a throw it back. Yeah. You feel me? Like it's like but a but y'all thing. y'all do that a little bit better than some Atlanta other areas is just and regions you know because Atlanta is just I don't know we, we from it's the South it's different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just a whole different thing. You know, the South, we just different. Like, then, you know, we, we feel like we got to stick together. They already trying to take us yeah. down. Are you in Black Cool? Me and Black? Yeah. yeah. Black, my boy. Black from the East Side. Yeah. He, from, uh, he went to Rita and I went to Towers. So we went to two different high schools. He went to, like, my school was down here. Black school was down the street. And you shot at him, right? Nah, I ain't shoot at Okay, I'm just <laughs> Nah, I ain't shoot at him. <laughs> 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 hey, man, what's, what's the big homie like, name back here that's with you? <laughs> Oh, that's uh, Bright. Bright? Yeah, Bright. Bright, I fuck with Bright. He's like, damn, you got to fuck with everybody? Big Bright just back there. He been like this the whole interview. (laughs) (laughs) Now, you know, Bright been with me since I was 16. He Bright like, man, I've been through all this shit. Bright took me on my first paid show. Go ahead now. You know what I love? I love that you give it back to everybody. Mm -hmm. He did this. He sent me to the mall. I'm going to tell you, stop giving people compliments (laughs) and recognizing what they do. Cause now I'm bright, gonna think you owe him something. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> is just, that a nigga? Yeah, just just make it seem like it's been all you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like cause then down the line he gonna be suing you. He the one who shot mustard that cease and desist. Like, hey man, you know we remixed that. Come on, you know, that, that, was was bright. That, that, nigga, that was bright. That was that big homie you bright. You know we remixed that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so gonna what remix you, this yeah, interview. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Snatch it, nigga. Yeah, but even with bright, we, when we had you booked. And it was times we were like, man, you know, Jacquees coming in. It was like, man, he can't make it, but Bright can come. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, they were like, man, Bright ready to do a tell-off. I said, let me sit with Jacquees first. <laughs> nah, then you ready to do saying? a tell-off. Like, he, even when I went out there to slap Damn, hands. you could do a tell-off, yeah, bro. Exa- hey, man, when I, like I went I in and slapped hands, he told me, he West. leaned me in. He said, when you want to know the real, unk, <laughs> <laughs> let me know. He said, go on in there and get that bullshit remix from the king real quick. <laughs> nah. Then come and get your real one. That's what he told me. Wow. Right. Right, all right, nigga. That's the whole <laughs> Jacquees, thank you for coming into thank the neighborhood, you. man. I really enjoyed yeah. hanging with you, man. No, nah, no, nah, I did too, right? Yeah, we, we, we yeah. got to go ahead, man, and make, make sure. Like, when you out here too, man, take us to lunch. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Buy us a chain. That'd be yeah. nice. Buy us a chain. Yeah, buy us yeah. a chain. Take us shopping. Bring us $100,000. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She about to get married. Would you perform at her? Yep. That's what's up. Yeah, would you perform at her wedding? I got y'all. Okay. In October. You know what we gotta got to do? Yeah. We got to find the guy first. Because she has yeah. she don't have, oh, I was she speaking don't have into existence, first. just yeah. like oh, you did. Yeah. Shit. You got to speak into existence. <laughs> damn, it you ain't going to happen if you don't say it. Yeah, oh, there it is. So, <laughs> yeah. He probably looking at her like, man. Like, oh, damn. He's like, she not married? <laughs> like, do you see yourself married? Like, I can see day? that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got a girl. You, you do? Yeah. How long you guys been together? Probably like all this year. Oh, he's like, yeah, like it's, it's, it's March. It's March. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying we've been we've been messing around for a long time. But it's we, that whole 2019. You know? He's saying? like, yeah, we, we put like, me on the spot. I mean, we kind of just like brought it out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really though, is she famous? On. Huh? Is she famous? Yeah, my girl famous. Famous to you or famous? Will we she know famous. who she is? What she do? Dreezy. Oh, oh God damn it, Dreezy. Yeah. Easy call. Yeah, easy Talent. call. Yeah, easy. all right, man. Are you gonna um? Propose to her. Look at that yeah. camera right there. Tell her right now. <laughs> right there. You Which better one? grab her before right somebody else does. 2019 energy. He, oh, you grabbed oh, her, literally. Oh, oh man. Okay. You know what that was that grab? That's I'm grabbing oh, your heart. Is it different to make your relationship a little more public? I mean, you know, nah. Because, you know, I ain't, you got you just got to be on your P's and Q's. Mm-hmm. Is she on the album? Nah, Dree's not on this album. But mm-hmm. I'm on hers. Okay. Did you yeah. charge her? Nah. Okay. Yeah. That's what you're I ain't even let the label charge. You didn't shoot no invoice or nothing nah, like that. I what told was, them what was Valentine's Day like for you guys? Oh, we had a good time. Yeah, man. Are you romantic? Definitely. Like, what do you do? Do you write poems? Hey, I man. Wrote a, I wrote a note, a full page note. Oh, hey, beautiful. Dude. I'm going to tell you, you straight up, I don't want to bring this back up. Yeah. But man. I think with the homie Bright, nope. I think you're doing too much right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to bring this up, man. But no, once we guys start talking about relationship, Bright was back there like, oh. <laughs> Like, queen. Like, He's like, wrap this up. <laughs> He's like, you ain't got no other station to go to, man. Like, man. Nah, man. Like, like, man. He was like, man, Charlemagne didn't even ask him all this shit. <laughs> yeah, you getting two people to this R&B stuff. Like, damn. Yeah. But yeah, man. But no, thank you for coming yeah, into the yeah. neighborhood. Thank you. Hanging God, out man. with us, man. Yeah, man. And enjoy that water. That's the 10,000 bottle of water yep. that we do for yeah. charity. 10,000. Yeah. 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 Soon you, soon you pop the top. Yeah. They charge 10,000. Yeah. 10,000. Like 10, we gotta help the kids. It's unique. And you get a honey quick doing that shit. Yeah. What's it's like the hotel. It's like the hotel. As soon, as, open, soon as you lift it up and pop it open, yeah, it's charged to your yep. account. <laughs> Jacquees in the neighborhood, man. Big boys neighborhood. Up.